Hello learners, welcome to our virtual learning class. Today we have integrated science and we are going to talk about forces and movement. Forces and movement. Okay? Forces and movement. And our, in our previous lesson, lesson we talked about digestion and digestive system. Okay? And we learned that digestion is a process whereby food substances are broken into a smaller unit for the absorption of or for the absorption into the body. Okay? And we talk about some parts and phases of the digestive system. Good. Today we are going to continue with our forces and movement. Forces and movement. But before we continue, let's talk about the objectives. Okay? So at the end of the lesson, at the end of the lesson, we should be able to explain the term force. Okay? At the end of the lesson, we should be able to explain the term force and then describe different types of forces okay describes describe or different types of forces good let's continue force so force is what a pull or push on a body or on something okay now let's look at this this is a table it's at rest okay Sorry, this is a chair, okay, sorry. This is a chair and it's at rest, okay? Now, when I'm pulling it, I'm forcing it, okay? I'm forcing it. So, as I'm pulling it, it started moving, okay? Now, let me push it again and let's see. I'm forcing it, okay? So, we say what? Force is what? Pull or push on a body on, or on something. I will continue to say that force can change the body state either at rest or in hold, a uniform motion, okay? And I use the table, uh, the, the chair as example. So the chair is at court, rest, okay? When I start to pull it, it started moving, okay? So at the force I've, I've applied has changed the state of the chair from what? Potential energy or the state at re from rest to what? To motion, okay? Good. Let's continue. Let's look at some types of what? Forces. Okay, number one, you have for magnetic force. Magnetic force. Magnetic force. Now, we say magnetic force is a force that attracts all magnetic substances towards magnet. Okay? Now, let's look at example. Okay? This is a speaker. Uh, it's having magnet. Okay? So, Let's try. We say it's a force, magnetic force, a force that attracts magnetic material towards a magnet. Okay? Look, look at it. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Now let's put it under the paper. You see? You can see. Okay? Let's look at the, the screws and. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the screw. Okay? Good. So the force. That attract these materials towards the back. The, the magnet is what magnetic force. Okay, it's magnetic force, and we we have what we say magnetic material. There are materials that can be what, attracted by what a magnet. Materials that can be attracted by magnet are called magnetic or material. So when we look at this, this blade here is a magnetic or material. This one too is also a magnetic material because it's, it's able to be attracted by what? The magnet. Good. So we have some examples. We have what? Iron, nickel, steel, cobalt. Cobalt, okay, sorry. Cobalt, okay, good. So all these, all materials that are made from iron, nickel, steel, cobalt are all hot. Magnetic or material, they can be more attracted by a magnet. Okay, so the force that makes the magnet to attract those materials is what we call magnetic force. Okay, good. Now let's continue. We have gravitational force. Gravitational force. You see, at times when a bear dies in the tree, you see that the bear fall down on the fall from the tree to the ground. Okay, or a ripe mango from the tree. Okay, when it always falls to the earth surface or fall down on the ground. Okay, 
Good. So, the force that attracts all material towards the Earth's surface is what we call gravitational force. Okay? Anytime you throw something into the air, the thing doesn't continue the, uh, in motion in the air, okay? It always do what? Fall back to the, uh, the ground. Okay? So, that is the force that pull those material to fall back to the ground is what we call magnetic and uh, gravitational force. Okay? It's what we call gravitational force. So, a force that pulls objects toward the Earth's surface. Okay? Toward the Earth's surface. Whenever you throw something to the air, for example, gun, gunshot, okay? Any catapult, the stone, it will always fall back onto the Earth, okay? That is all. The force that pull it back to the Earth is gravitational force. Now let's continue. We have what? Elastic force. Okay, elastic force. Let's look at this example. This is an elastic band right? or rubber band. Okay, now we say elastic force is a force which causes object to be stressed. Good. So let's look at the gravitational force before we move to uh, example of gravitational force before we move to uh, elastic force. Okay, now let, let's throw this object. Okay. Now look at it. You see, it doesn't continue moving upwards, but it do what? Falls back. It falls back to the earth. Okay. So the force that pull it back is what we call gravitational force. Okay. Good. Gravitational force. Now let's look at this. Uh, uh, the next one is so elastic force. Let's look at this example. This is a rubber band. Okay. We say it's a force that causes object to be stressed or compressed. So what we are talking about stress means to make it look hot, larger. And when we talk of compress means to make it look hot, smaller. Okay? So let's look at this. Okay? Let's try to make it larger. You see, we can see that it expanded. It has expanded. Okay? It has expanded. It look larger. Okay? Now let's leave it and see. You see, you can see that it's coming, it's becoming small. When we, we stress it, it becomes larger. And when we leave it, it becomes more small. Okay? The force that helps us to expand it or to make it look small is what we call elastic force. Okay? Elastic force. Good. Now let's continue with the next force. We have a frictional force. We have frictional force. Frictional force. I would say frictional force is a force which acts at the surface of contact when, one, when a body moves upon what? another body. Okay? When a body moves upon another body, we, we, we have a frictional force. Okay, for example, when I'm walking, I'm walking on the floor, okay? I'm walking, or let's say I'm rolling my leg on the floor, okay? The force that acts between the sole of my shoe and the, the, the surface of the ground is what we call a frictional force. Example is in the brake, the brake of what? Cars, or even bicycles brake, okay? Bicycles break. So the force that acts at the contact of the surface is what we call frictional force. And this force opposes on motion. Okay? So it is this uh, frictional force that helps moving cars to do or to stop. Or even when you apply the when you apply the brake of a bicycle, it is this force that helps the bicycle to do or to stop. Okay? Good. Now let's look at our last, the last or types of force. We have electrostatic force. Electrostatic force, I will say what? Oh, it's a force for when plastic materials are around vigorously on hair or fur. Okay? For example, uh, my hair is not bushy. When you have at home, when your hair is bushy, try using oh, a comb. Okay? To comb your hair vigorously. You comb it fast or hard. Okay? Try it. Then, get a small piece of what? Paper. Okay? After wrap rubbing the, the comb through your hair then you try to you try the, the comb you close to hold the paper you, see, you can see that the comb will pick up the paper maybe because my hair is not bushy okay so at home you can try it you can use your small comb and try it at home okay so we say what electrostatic force is a force that for when plastic material when plastic material are wrapping grossly on hot hair or fur okay with all this experiment we have performed now, at home, I will urge you to do what? 
try it yourself at home, okay? So that in our next meeting, you can have more understanding, okay? So with this, I'll bring the lesson for today to an end and to meet. Have a nice day. Bye.